Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, I think we're going to be doing a video in downtown Disney. So, as some of you may have guessed, I'm in the Esplanade right now. I'm about to make my way to downtown Disney. But before I do, I just wanted to show you guys like the lines this morning to get into the parks. They're not that bad, but I will say today's probably the, the busiest day of the week as far as lines go. But overall, we'll say this week, it hasn't been that busy as far as like crowds and stuff. So, it's, it's been a nice week. All right, so over here in between the ticket booth and... La Brea Bakery, it looks like they moved the Honda Pilot that was previously located on the uh, on the tram walk route. And now it's here. It's kind of weird. And, um, well, it makes sense, though, when I show you guys what's kind of going on over there. There's, like, a fence back there, which I'll get into later on. Uh, we're going to hit World of Disney first, and then uh, we'll come back and talk about that. I'll show you guys around a little bit. All right, guys, so we just got into World of Disney. And check it out. The Mickey Waffle Spirit Jersey, which is pretty cool. And like how the lettering is like textured, so it feels like you know you're touching like a waffle. <laughs> and there's little Mickey waffles there with butter on it. And then here's a look at the front. I like how the Disneyland D has a butter like square on it too. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, this spear jersey is it's no price. I'm at to scan it on the app, but uh, it says this one's scented too, so I'm at to give it the sniff test. So I scanned it and it's $74.99. I kind of thought it was gonna be a little more expensive because you know it's scented and, and all that, but I guess not. So $74.99. Nothing. I always have the worst luck with like the scented stuff. It never smells like anything to me, but uh, if you guys come down here and check it out, let me know if you guys do get like some type of waffle smell or whatever it's supposed to smell like and uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys like more. I'm kind of leaning more towards the waffle one. This one's kind of cool. And then as far as the uh, puffy pizza planet jacket, it looks like they finally added more sizes here at World of Disney. So now they have extra small, small, medium, extra large, and extra, extra large. And just in case you guys forgot, this one is $59.99. And then over here in front of the registers near the entrance of World of Disney, it looks like they restocked on the Stitch and Angel Loungefly bag. And now that I see it again, I'm kind of thinking like this is, this is like a perfect bag for like Valentine's Day. There's like hearts and everything. Look, look how cute they're being. <laughs> a little hard to make it out, but here's the lining inside. It's just more hearts and more of Stitch and Angel, you know, being cute. And then, in case you guys are wondering, this one is $75. And then we made it to the Star Wars section. I want to give you guys a quick update on the Boba Fett uh, Funko Pops. Last time I was here, there was a whole bunch over here in this section, and they are now gone. They do still have Fennec Shand, and they have Ahsoka, but that's about it. So still in the Star Wars section, looking at the uh, the figures that they have here. And I kind of wish they would add more in the uh, Black Series collection, but looks like they only have Lando. <laughs> All right, guys, so I thought leaving more of the Disney. There wasn't a whole lot going in there, so we just, you know, decided to leave. Uh, but anyways, now I want to talk to you guys about, like, whatever's going on behind me as far as, like, that construction that's going on by the tram route. So to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not really sure what's going on over here, except there's, like, a giant fence now, and you can clearly hear, like, construction noises. <laughs> you can hear, like, big machinery being used and all that. So I'm not sure if they're tearing up the ground or fixing a pipe. I'm not really sure, but... This is how it looks over here. I just hope that whatever's going on over here, like, just helps the trams come, like, even sooner. Oh, and if you guys are wondering if you guys can still walk the tram route, you can. See, these are all the people coming from, like, Mickey and Friends. You walk, and it cuts you off right here. This is right next to, like, Naples, so... Yeah, you can walk the whole tram route, and then it'll spit you out on this side. Alright, guys, but anyways, we've made it to the Disney Dress Shop. And check it out, they have this new shirt here. Which is, honestly, it's really nice. I love the colors. And then here's a look at the sleeve. There's like a lot of park icons on there. This shirt is $44.99. And it looks like they have sizes extra small to a 2X. And then they have this hat here, which honestly I've never seen before. But it's like all like tie-dye looking. And it matches that, that new spirit jersey really well too. See how much it costs. This one is $29.99. And it's cool because like you can come here and like pick a specific hat because each one is different. 
See, you see the pattern's different on every single one of them. And then like I mentioned, this hat could match this bird jersey like perfectly. Although it would be a little much with the, the whole tie-dye thing, but you know, if this is your style. <laughs> and then under that hat I just showed you guys is this pretty cool alien shirt from Toy Story. I love that. I like how they always put, oh. <laughs> I just have to say it every time I see it, but really nice shirt. It's really soft too. In case you guys are wondering, this one is $36.99. And then looks like they have sizes extra small all the way up to a 2X. And then in case you guys are not able to get into the park, they have that Mickey Valentine's Day shirt here in the Disney dress shop as well. This one is $36.99. Well, we ended up leaving uh, the Disney dress shop and I think our next stop is going to be Marston's Confectionery, which is right behind me. They have this new treat in stock that's uh, it's out of this world, I guess you can say. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So before I show you guys that new treat, might as well just go through all the treats that they have here at Marceline's Confectionery. They have the churro toffee in stock. They have the pie cookies. They have two of them. They have the chocolate dip marshmallow ones. Minnie Mouse apple, Mickey Mouse apple, and then the new one, the Grogu apple. <laughs> they call it the character inspired caramel apple, but we all know who he is. <laughs> $12.99 for that one. Apple pie apple. They have the caramel peanut apple for $6.99. Caramel apple. Mickey Mouse cupcake. Minnie Mouse cupcake. Same Rice Krispie treats as always. They have the Minnie Mouse gingerbread cookie, pineapple cookie, churro cookie, and then chocolate chip cookie. So just like the parks, looks like they're starting to like get rid of the, the holiday treats already. All right, so as you guys might have guessed, we had to get the Grogu apple. Look at that. This is how it looks out of the packaging. It is so adorable. <laughs> so I'm not going to try this one. I'm going to take it home for my family. But um, I heard from Nick from Winners of Magic that it tastes really, really good. So I'll take his word for it for sure. And then while we're on the topic of treats, I think we're going to make a quick stop over here at Sprinkles because there's a new cupcake that I wanted to try. Sadly, they don't really allow filming in there, so I can't like show you guys what they have inside of Sprinkles, but uh, I'll show you what I end up getting once I get it. All right, guys, so we ended up getting our cupcake. The only thing, though, is there's some bad news. They didn't have the one I was looking for because I guess it ended yesterday because it was a limited time only offering. But I did end up getting something else, and I'll show you guys once we get a table what I ended up getting. So we ended up popping into Love Pop because I just realized that I forgot to show you guys what I ended up getting my wife for her birthday. So I ended up getting her the Bouquet of Roses like card which I believe was this one so now you guys know but also they got some new Valentine's Day cards in look at these these are all the Star Wars themed ones and then here's the front of the card and they have this Grogu one which is really cool And then on the front of the card it says, this is the way to a great Valentine's Day. <laughs> they also have this giant Grogu, which is not really a card, but it's more for like display purposes. But this one's really cool. It's got like heart glasses on, a bouquet of flowers. This one's awesome. Look at that. As you guys can see, I'm like loving all of them. But <laughs> uh, they have this Millennium Falcon one right here. They have X-Wings on there. You're winning a Millennium. <laughs> and then even the... Uh, the front of the card has some cool art on it. Darth Vader's eyes are hearts. And they have this BB-8 one. On one side he's holding a heart, on the other one he's holding a, a flower. And then here's what the front of the card looks like. <laughs> That's cool. And then lastly they have that Han and Leia scene with hearts around it. Where they say I love you and then say I know. <laughs> and then here's a look at the front of this card. So it says I love you and then on the inside it says I know. <laughs> I almost missed this. They have the bouquet of like flowers right here. This is also for Valentine's Day. Come to the sweetheart side. <laughs> you have a stormtrooper, Darth Vader. This one says I am your destiny. You choke me up. 
And then, oh, I am Valentine. And on the front, it says together we can rule the galaxy. So we just found a nice seat over here by uh, the old AMC building. Now it's time to try the cupcake that I got. So here's what I ended up getting. I got the black and white cupcake and it's Belgian dark chocolate cake and creamy vanilla frosting. And then you can see it's got like the little like chocolate sprinkles on there. Um, this is not new at all. This has been out for like ever, but uh, I usually stick to vanilla because that's like my favorite you know, flavor, but I decided to go with something different today and uh, I went with this one. Can't wait to try it though. Look at that. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Man. If you guys have never had this, I like highly 100% recommend it. This is so good. Like I'm not a food person. Like I'm not good with reviews and all that stuff, but I will say like the the combination of the vanilla with the chocolate, it's like perfect. Like this is so good. Um that was good. <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened. Everything went black and then the cupcake disappeared. But um anyways, we're going to hit our last store of the day and that's going to be the Star Wars Trading Post. So, lightsaber update. We still just have Ben Solo in stock. It looks like they finally sold out of that expensive uh, Grogu figure. I think it was like $350. So, I just can't believe people like, you know, bought that. <laughs> and then just like World of Disney, it looks like they completely sold out of Boba Fett's. All the Funko Boba Fett's are gone. They only have one Ahsoka and then like a million Fennec Shans. So there's not really much going on over here at the Trading Post today. I think this is like the newest item that they got in and it's the Myth and Fables book. Uh, I saw this at uh, the Star Trader in Tomorrowland. This one is $44.99. And uh, at first I thought it was a journal, but it's an actual like book. So if you guys are interested, you guys can find it here as well. And then before we go, I wanted to show you guys this pin set really quick. They have the Book of Boba Fett pin set, which is pretty cool. It's honestly cooler than the other ones that uh, were released like I think a week ago. I still want this jetpack. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. But they have it here at the Trading Post. I don't even think World of Disney has this one anymore, but in case you're interested, this one is $29.99. Alright guys, so we ended up leaving the Star Wars Trading Post. There wasn't like that much going on in there, so we ended up, you know, leaving. But uh, I noticed that the little like photo op they had over here for the Star Wars VR experience, it's gone. I was kind of surprised that the photo op was gone because I thought it was still going on, but I ended up checking the uh, Disneyland website and it turns out it ended yesterday on January 5th, sadly. So um, I didn't get a chance to try it. I don't know if you guys did or not, but uh, I heard it was cool. I just, man, I should have came one day and just, you know, waited in line for it. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.